Welcome, welcome, welcome to Hip Hop Hallelujah. Hip Hop Hallelujah, Hip Hop Hallelujah. Yes, we like to give honor to God who's had our life. Without him, there would be no life. This is day 40, fighting our giants. Day 40. We thank and praise God that we made it thus far. How you doing, queen? You know, I just thank and praise God we made it thus far. I got a story to tell. I got a testimony, you guys. Let me pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We honor you. We magnify you for this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to be glad and rejoice in it. We repent if we said or done anything that's not like you. Father, put us behind the cross. Bless each and every individual that's on the line on IG. Open up the windows of heaven and pour down a blessing upon their lives. We speak life into them, O Heavenly Father. Whatever they touch, it shall and will prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't want to hold you, so that's why I'm praying quick. But I want to give um, you a, a, a testimony. Now, when I said I was going on this 90-day fast and all hell is going to break loose and it's going to get hot, it's going to get hot. So on last week, I did an interview with my girl, Shockey Shay. Shout out to her in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In the midst of that, they said that my sister-in-law passed away. So my husband didn't want to stay home and she lived in New York. We got to North Carolina, they said she ain't dead. By the time we was on our way to Atlantic City, they said she was dead. We went to Atlantic City, and I love to gamble, y'all. And I just allowed my husband. He played $1,800, and he lost every bit of it. And could you believe that I didn't play? But long story short, we came on back home. This weekend is his birthday. So we had tickets to Vegas, but he canceled that because, you know, going to the funeral. So he said, you know what, babe, we don't even have it to go to the funeral. We don't did all of that. They said she was alive, said she was dead. So anyway, we, I said, okay. So we decided, nope, not yet. So we canceled Vegas. We changed the dates, you know, the tickets for another day. Yesterday, I got into a car accident and my grandbaby was in the car with me. So I just thank and praise God that all of us are safe. Amen. So now today I said, babe, I got comp. We can go up to North Carolina for your birthday. We don't have that much money, but we could just um spend time with each other. Amen. He says, okay, girl, guys, lo and behold, 30 minutes up, um, no, 40 minutes towards the mountains. We were almost there in 40 minutes. And guess what? They pulled him over. They said he was speeding. Come to find out. They said he had a warrant. For dog cruelty. I said, all of a sudden, my dog is at home. But last year, during COVID, 2022, um, a pit bull had, my daughter's um, dog had tried to bite my son. So my husband called the dog pound. They took him. And they said, in 10 days, you decide if you want to put him down or not. So he said, put him down. And he paid the $200 citation. So we thought that was over with. But they said he had failure um, to appear in court. Why did they take my husband? I just got up to these mountains in the dark, driving by myself. But just think about it. This is his birthday weekend. <laughs> Bigger, <laughs> you know, all I could say is, God, I give you glory and God, I give you honor. And I give God praise in the midst of the storm. He has to sit in jail on his birthday weekend. And it wasn't even his dog. And he paid the citation. But that tells me, come on, glory to God. That tells me, hallelujah, that we're just getting close to our blessing. Amen. So though we go through tests and trials, though we go through all afflictions, though he slay us, yet we trust him. Amen. So I know the enemy wanted to take me out on yesterday. Um, being in a car accident with my grandchild, but he got to come better than that. He got to come better than this. So we just give honor to God who is ahead of our life because without him, there would be no life. And I just thank and praise God for each and every one of you for your prayers, for coming on, supporting me each and every time. And I love each and every one of you. And I mean that because I don't get paid for doing this. I want to encourage others. Love the unlovable. Hug the unhuggable. And though, and though the enemy think he got you, he ain't got nothing on you. Because God is working behind the scenes for you, you, and you. So know this is day 40 on the 40-day fast. And I'm going to be honest and I'm going to keep it real. I bought a donut so I can eat for my husband for his birthday. So today I will be eating a donut and tomorrow I will continue on my fast. So that means today I haven't ate it yet, 40 days without no sweets, but I am going to rejoice and I'm going to celebrate it for my husband. Amen. Cause he's not here. So know that I love each and every one of you know that God has your back like a jacket. You're beautiful. You're fabulous and you're wonderfully made. So pick up your stuff, pat your right hand on the back and pat your own self on the back. Cause know that 
you are able to do exceedingly abundantly all you can think or imagine god has you day 40 go over to my youtube page and subscribe please hip-hop hallelujah and this is the 50th year the anniversary of hip-hop and you guys will be seeing me soon know that i love y'all and thank you for coming on on a friday and supporting your girl dr apostle sparky d day 40 keep me and my family in your prayers bye-bye mm.